Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tom.com and today we're looking at the Tilt and Lift 25 RTS motor which is a motor that's used in small blinds and shades. Now, we can reset it because sometimes something goes wrong and you need to reset it. So let's have a look and see how it's done. So first of the two versions, the one you have here is with the small button in the middle that's where the reset button is. Um, but you can also have one where the antenna and the power cord are on the outside of the motor. And then you need to look for op an opening close to the antenna. And that's where the reset button is located. So you need to actually use a screwdriver with a fine tip or a paper clip, for example, um, to reach the button which is inside of the motor. So that's where you reset that one. Um, here we have the new version, which means we have a button we can touch um, and press um, so we don't need to use a screwdriver. So let's go to the reset procedure. So all you need to do is actually press the button and hold it for about 10 seconds. And as you can hear, it will move back and forth three times in those 10 seconds and that means the motor will be reset. So we've heard it the second time and the third time and now we can release the button and it means that motor is fully reset. Now, what's different between these motors and the 230 volt or 110 volt motors is that you can then reset it over and over again. So with a normal motor, a 230 volt main power motor, you can only reset it once, and if you then try the procedure again, there will be no response whatsoever. For these motors, if you're unsure if the motor's reset, just go ahead and you'll see the same response, and that means that you can actually reset it again. So that's it, it's very straightforward. Just press the button or use your screwdriver to reach it and hold it for 10 seconds and listen for those free jogs. If the motor is inside of the, the um, blind, then you can actually see the movement. Um, and that's it. If it doesn't work or if you have any questions, let me know at info at tom.com. For now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.